NAYPYITAW, Reuters, The Daily Star slash Asian News Network, Myanmar's de facto leader Aung San Suu Kyi said on Tuesday, November 21, that she hopes talks with Bangladesh this week will result in a memorandum of understanding on the safe return of Rohingya Muslims who fled to Bangladesh in the past three months. A military clearance operation launched in Myanmar's Rakhine state has driven more than 600,000 Rohingya out of the Buddhist-majority country since late August. MSSUUKYI spoke to reporters at the end of a meeting of senior officials at an Asia-Europe meeting, or ASEM, in Myanmar's capital Naypyidaw, where the crisis in Rakhine was discussed on the sidelines of official talks. Foreign ministers of 51 Asian and European countries gathered in Naypyidaw for the two-day event. Taking part in an informal briefing on Rakhine issue in Naypyidaw, they also called for implementation of recommendations of the Kofi Annan Commission for Long-Lasting Solutions in Rakhine State. Earlier in the morning, the High Representative of the Union for Foreign Affairs and Security Policy had informal meetings with some ministers on the situation in Rakhine State. The meeting was attended by the foreign ministers of Myanmar, Bangladesh, China, India, Indonesia, Estonia, Germany, Malta, Russia, Luxembourg, France, Thailand, Hungary, Finland, and Sweden. The High Representative of the European Union for Foreign Affairs and Security Policy, Ms. Federica Mogherini, has expressed her hope that Bangladesh and Myanmar would reach a decision to sign and Mao an agreement on the safe repatriation of Rohingyas from Bangladesh to their homeland Myanmar. There is a real possibility of Myanmar and Bangladesh reaching and Mao and an agreement for the safe repatriation of refugees, Rohingyas, she told reporters after a photo session with ASEM foreign ministers. She said the EU is supporting this process and will stand ready to accompany it in the coming week. That was extremely encouraging. We discussed the need to start implementing the Annan Commission report, she said, adding that she is very encouraged by the willingness and readiness of MSSUUKYI in going in that direction. MS Mogherini is among the foreign ministers from Europe and Asia meeting on Monday in Napieta. Speakers, in general, agreed in many areas and asked for immediate cessation of hostilities, halting of outflow, early return of externally displaced Rohingyas from Bangladesh, implementation of recommendations of the Kofi Annan Commission for Durable Solutions, said a foreign ministry press release. Meanwhile, Bangladesh Foreign Minister Amamud Ali, who is leading a four-member delegation, had bilateral meetings on the sideline with his counterparts from Switzerland, Hungary, Estonia, Finland, and United Kingdom, where they exchanged views on the Rohingya crisis, particularly the early return of displaced Rohingyas and stressed the importance of an inclusive and durable solution to the protracted problem. He reaffirmed Bangladesh's firm commitment to peace and development, and stressed the need for inclusive development by ensuring rights and equal opportunity. The foreign minister also highlighted shared interest in encouraging peace, security and stability in the region and beyond.